Right now at 5, a woman escapes being struck in a horrible collision. Oh, Lord, not today. So I just turned left. I just went left. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't sure where I was going, but I was just trying to get out of the way. Tonight, why police say drag racing may have been behind this violent crash. And the crash this morning prompted the shutdown of State Road 7 for hours. Two people were taken to the hospital. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Miami Gardens with what some witnesses say may have been behind this crash. Peter. Well, Ruta Bay and Jim, some witnesses are saying off camera that some cars were actually drag racing here in State Road 7, but Miami Gardens police have not uh, not confirm that. Now, this accident shut down this road for more than three hours. We spoke with one woman who said she and her mother were nearly struck by the vehicles in this accident. It's so quick. You know, you're not expecting all these things to be happening. You know, you're not expecting anything. It's a good thing I was at a car distance away from the car in front of me. Victoria Jones says she and her mother survived a close call when they were nearly struck by these vehicles involved in the crash in Northwest 2nd Avenue and 209th Street. There's a car that lost control from the other side of the road. It came right over, impacted the car that was in front of me, and that car was coming towards me. So I, all I could do was to just swerve to the left. Thank it's God. Flipping, flipping, flipping. It's, it's terrible. It's terrible. Miami Gardens police say the vehicles collided at 9 in the morning. Oh, Lord, not today. So I just turned left. I just went left. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't sure where I was going, but I was just trying to get out of the way. Because if I didn't do that, the impact would have come right onto us. The police say it happened when a northbound vehicle lost control. The driver then uh, crossed over to the median and started traveling northbound in the southbound uh, traffic. Uh, vehicle, uh, the person driving the black Impala collided with a second vehicle. It led to a chain reaction. It slammed into the other car, so both cars kept going and spinning around. And then they ended up on the other side of the street. So, you know, the guy got thrown from the car, so he's not good. And then the other lady, they had to cut the car apart in order to get her out of there. And I said to my daughter, oh my God, because I see it. the car then just spinning over. Yeah, At a terrible. degree, everything tearing out, all over. It was terrible, guys. It was really, it was not already. My prayers go out to those guys and their families. Jones says they could have been seriously hurt. Thank God, you know, my mom and I, we're fine. Now, Miami-Dade Fire and Rescue tells us three cars were actually involved. It's not clear whether that third car stayed on the scene or took off. Also, no word at this point on how those injured are doing. We've also learned that Miami Gardens Police have secured surveillance tape from the scene from a nearby business, but they are still urging witnesses to call them. We're live in Miami Gardens, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you. Now